What is up everyone? Welcome back for another video of Diablo 3. In this video we will be talking about the Wet of the Waste Whirlwind Barbarian build. This build is really strong and it is also very easy to play. If you want to climb the leaderboard without doing much, then this is the perfect build for you. Unfortunately, I am just dying right now in my video, but who cares, I'm, it's just lagging. Uh, we all have that uh, issue sometimes. Anyway, if you found your gears and you got the perfect states, then you can probably do Great Rift 110 with this build. So, if you don't have any questions, then we will go to the items. So, for this build, you need 6 pieces of the Red of the Waste. The fourth set bonus increases the damage reduction by 50% when you cast Whirlwind, or 3 seconds after you casted Whirlwind. The 6 set bonus will give you 3000% increased damage and you also get the Dust Devil's Rune which is creating tornadoes. Because we are standing in the middle of a lot of mobs, we want to have as much damage reduction as possible. That's the reason why we want to use Pride of Caseus. This will increase the duration of Ignore Pain by 4, 5 or 6 seconds. The Scale Rune from Ignore Pain will give you 50% damage reduction. Whenever we cast Whirlwind, it will cause a lot of fury. That's the reason why you want to use the Bulkatos Oat weapons, whatever. This will increase the fury generation and also when you are casting Whirlwind, you will get 45% attack speed and movement speed. For the rings, we want to use Oculus Ring um, or Conventions of Elements. I'm using the Oculus Ring. This can cast an area of focus power. And I'm just wondering uh, why I am not using conventions of elements because that's supposed to be better. Let's go to the next ring. We also want to use obsidian ring of the zodiac. Uh, because whirlwind is a resource spanning attack, it will reduce the cooldown on your skills. That way you can have everything up at all times if you have around 40% cooldown reduction. For the Hellfire Necklace, you want one of the following 5 passives, uh, but we will come back to that later. And for the Braces, you want to use Nemesis Braces, and of course, you can use Ancient Parton Defenders, but I love the idea to get the Elite straight away when I hit a Pylon. For the Canaius Cube, we want to use the Furnace, for the damage it grees against Elites, Mantle of Channeling, this will give you 25% damage reduction and it will also increase your damage by 25%. And as last, Skull of the Grasp, this will give your whirlwind damage a big boost. For the legendary gems, Bane of the Stricken, it is a very good option because you are casting whirlwind the whole time, it will increase the damage against the same enemy every second. And this is also a guardian killer gem. Pain Enchancer, each bleeding enemy will give you more attack speed and it is also dealing a lot of damage because of the bleeding effect. And as last, I've got no idea how to pronounce this, Teapot, Teagog, <laughs> whatever it is called. This item can stack up to 10 times and each stack will give you a percent increase in damage and also 2% increase in armor for each stack. That's great. For the skills, Whirlwind, Blood Funeral, and because of our 6 set bonus, we will get Dust Devils for free. This is our damage dealer. Critical hits will give us lives back, and while channeling, we will get 100% increase in movement speed. Ancient Spear, Rage Flip. If you want to go higher in the Great Rift, uh, this skill can be very useful because you can throw monsters uh, inside a group to deal more damage. Or you can use that for just getting rid of the cooldown. Ignore Pain, Ignorance Bliss. For the 50% damage reduction, uh, your belt will increase the duration of this skill. And while channeling your Whirlwind, uh, you are spending Fury, so you will get lives back for each Fury spent. Which is great because it's, this is just healing you. Battle Rage, Bloodshed. This will increase the damage and also the critical chance. And it will also deal 20% 20 20 of your last critical hit damage to enemies in a 20 yard radius. Warcry, Veteran's Warning, this will give you 100% armor and 30% dodge chance. And as last, Red of the Berserker, Insanity, this will increase your attack speed, critical chance, dodge chance and movement speed when it's active. You will also get 50% more damage. So it does pretty much everything that this build needs. 
For the passes, we want to use Rootless. This will give you 40% additional damage to enemies below 30% health. Weapon Master, this will give you 8% increased damage. Boon of Bull, Katos, whatever. This will reduce the cooldown of Wrath of the Berserker. And also with 40% cooldown reduction, we can have Wrath of the Berserker up at all times. Rampage for the increase in strength. Each stack will give you 1% and this can you can have in total of 25 stacks. Now we want to use a passive on the Hellfire Necklace and you want to use... Let's see, use Nerves of Steel. This is pretty much giving you a second life. Yeah, use Nerves of Steel. For the Paragon Points, you want to have 25% movement speed in total. The rest goes into Strength. For your Offense, Critical Chance, Critical Damage, Attack Speed, Cooldown Reduction. Defense, Life, Armor, All Resist, Life Regen. For utility, area damage, life per hit, resource cost reduction, and gold find. For your states on the gears, headgear, strength, vitality, critical chance, shoulders, strength, vitality, cooldown reduction, and area damage. For your necklace, physical damage, critical chance, critical damage. For your gloves, strength, critical chance, critical damage, and area damage. For your armor, strength, vitality, and armor. For your braces, physical damage, strength, vitality, critical chance. For the belt, strength, vitality, armor, all resist. For your colors ring or convention of elements, critical chance, critical damage, cooldown reduction. For your obsidian ring, critical chance, cooldown reduction, and attack speed. For your pants, Strength, Vitality and Armor. For your boots, Strength, Vitality, Will, Wind, Damage, Movement Speed. Weapons, Strength, Weapon Damage, Percent Damage, Area Damage and on one of those weapons you want to have cooldown reduction so you can have a total of 40% cooldown reduction. So let's get back to this video. As you can see I got the worst states on my gears and I'm still doing this Great Rift 70 pretty easy. Oh look at those beams. That's just retarded but that's what happens when you hit a pylon and then of course the Nemesis Braces will activate it and that's just good game. Anyway, how to play this build? You want to activate Warcry for the increase in armor and the increase in dodge chance. Then you want to activate Battle Rage for the increase in critical chance and the increase in damage. You want to activate Ignore Pain, this will give you massive damage reduction. Then activate Red of the Berserker just before you are hitting your first enemy so you can have this up at all times. And just keep whirlwinding. Your Ignore Pain will give you your lives back in meanwhile and if you still have something on cooldown you can cast Ancient Spear to bring monsters inside the group and also it will reduce the cooldown on your skill so that's pretty awesome so well that's pretty much how you want to play this build it is really easy it is really strong and with some slight changes you can make a speed build from this but I will talk about that in another video I hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a comment like and subscribe also turn on the notification uh, it's next to the subscribe button and share my video it will help me a lot and that will allow me to make more Diablo 3 videos in the future and then we'll see you probably in the next video peace enjoy this build